Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laifa and I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. So today we are starting off today's vlog on a Tuesday. Today is a Tuesday. I'm trying to give you guys angles and this is my intro, you feel me? <laughs> so today is a Tuesday and yesterday was my day off. So I didn't vlog at all. Did I vlog? Okay, I think I ended last week's vlog yesterday and then sent my clips to my editor. Guys, I have an editor again. <sighs> I'm so happy. I've been editing my videos by myself since December and I've not been consistent because in case you're new to my channel, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I have several businesses that I handle and juggling all of that, it's not easy. Basically, it's not easy at all. So it, it, I wasn't being consistent and the quality of my videos was deteriorating and I decided to do something about it. <laughs> so I'm back to regular programming. We're back to uploads twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. Wednesdays are sit down videos or makeup tutorials or something different. And then Sundays are vlogs. If you're hearing the shower, sorry, Ada is having a, a box. Ada is around in case you do watch my last vlog our rosal and we're gonna be filming a very raw video undiluted video tomorrow <laughs> stay tuned for that she's making all in the bathroom so um my to them this week in case you're new to my channel i'm a professional makeup artist i do microblading so i have a beauty house we do microblading lashes nails makeup uh what else do we do frontal sewing so i'm actually going to do my hair today and my nails i took out my nails yesterday so i'm gonna redo them and i want to do lashes honestly guys the only reason why i do lashes I, i've done lashes in the past is to advertise my brand <laughs> but honestly i don't know but i want to give it another try but i feel like me and lashes eh, i don't know like i always feel the urge to want to pluck it out like it's a bittersweet pain i don't know how to explain it to you guys <laughs> i want to give it another try so i'm going to do lashes today after my class so i'm going to my studio now i'm on my way there I'll just grab my car keys i was charging my battery because i want to film at the studio I want to film a makeup tutorial. So yeah, that's the agenda for today. Arosa is you want to do lashes too. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the agenda for today. See, this Ada's phone is always ringing in the middle of the night. Like, are you a customer yeah, service? She's a serial entrepreneur. Are you a customer service rep? What? What do I have? Do you know that this girl's phone rang at 12 a.m. two nights ago and she picked it up? Can't be me. Serial entrepreneur. Can you please let them know what I do? I mean, it's uh -huh. so easy. My friend is also a professional makeup artist and she also has a very big, massive interior design company. <laughs> Sia Casa, everybody. And our new baby, Mon Vista. Mon Vista. So if you are in Portacot, I don't know what you're doing. If you don't know Sia Casa and Mon Vista, if you're a content creator, they have a beautiful, serene, aesthetically pleasing space for your content creation. Anyways, this is my intro as it comes too long. Ada just said I look like a black American. Hello, I don't look like I'm from this country, innit? Nah, you don't Do you want to say a little hi? With my tour! Just your face, oh Jaddy, your blood is too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of laugh with that? Hi guys! Why do I look like I have sequented eyes? <laughs> what is the sequented eye? Yeah, the eye of password. Oh, is that what it's called? Yes. I don't learn one like thing today. Sequented. Sequented. Sequented eyes. Guys, I just came up from the bathroom. Please don't mind that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you. Oh, I'm wearing this dress from Estee Couture. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. Life a bit more, life a beauty hub, life a luxury hair, life a beauty. Follow me on all platforms. Thank you very much. But if you follow me, I actually am also an influencer, ha, serial entrepreneur. So I, what's the word? I influenced for this brand. So I'm sure you've seen it. On my Instagram, so it's from Estee Couture, my friend Annabelle's baby sister, Bubbles. So yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the studio. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. 
Fell is hiding. I will follow you. Where you don't say the wrong go? Fellow. Oh, this mother. What agency are you with? Give me a second. How are you? So this is my beautiful mother. Oh, my G. My G, G, G. Ah. Let me share. Okay. Over here is Anita. Anita. Anita is looking yummy with this Diana Ross hairstyle she's got going on. Yeah. Over there is manager. Manager has not been greeting me this morning you know, since I walked in. I know, you did not greet. Deepo here greeting me. You see? Nobody. No witness. You see? I no, yeah, you see, even if I'm not here, you, you don't greet me anymore. Hello, life of me. <laughs> <laughs> <Wait to> me <laughs> that. <laughs> what was that, please? <laughs> what was that? Hi, fine. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> fine is a pro. Guys, look at my setup. If I just was just showing off with this setup because, uh uh. If I, you don't set up like this for me when I have brides, so. uh uh. Even me, they set up the, they make me happy and it's my own things. Anyways, thank you all for your patience. Let's start. I want someone like you to stand by me always. And I dream of a man like you, warm and tender. I'm done with work for today. I just go to my salon by Fab Beauty Hop, obviously. So I want to try. I've been experimenting with sewings. If you're just coming to my channel, so I've been doing a side part. So I want to try a middle part today. Middle part is not exactly my favorite hairstyle to do, but I'm trying to try out new things. Hence why I'm doing a middle part today. If it doesn't look good on me, I will off it with immediate effects. I don't use to waste time. So yeah. Guys, can you hear what she said? <laughs> if in case you did not hear, she said she did her lashes and her nails. <laughs> she has never lost her voice before. This is the first time she's losing her voice. <laughs> she doesn't know how it feels like to lose her voice. So I'm just gonna try and see how we can remedy it today. So I've advised she takes um ginger, lemon, and honey warm tea. So let's hope her voice gets back so we can shoot this video later today. Yeah. downstairs so i head into the gym she came to pick me up because my guys the mechanic just picked up my car so i'll see you guys at the gym Oh, 
in two days because of my voice my voice is actually better today <clears throat> like it comes and goes like sometimes I, I can't talk not so much and it actually hurts when I talk that's the worst thing so that day that I vlogged last I got to the gym and while I was doing a session my neck I like, I like I pulled a vein on my neck and it was stiff. I couldn't move my neck. I was crying like a child at the gym. <laughs> Came in and one of that guy, I don't even know his name. I should actually know his name because he really tried for me. They massaged it. They massaged it. They massaged my neck, put cold like ice, put ice on it. Ah, I was crying. Eh? It was so painful. I was like, what's going on? My neck, my throat, everything was just too me that thing. Like I just went home. I didn't even finish. I didn't even finish my workout session that day. I feel so much better. But like that day, I said to go and do tests because I've been feeling sick. So I knew that I, I had the flu or malaria because of the symptoms. And then I went to do tests and it was malaria. So I bought anti-malaria medication and different things. Yeah, for it hurts to talk, you guys. I... <clears throat> Anyways, I... I ordered 10 Bibles from Jumia because I'm when I go to Ebano, I don't see a lot of it there, just like one, two. So I, I ordered, I usually order from Jumia, like last batch I bought, I ordered from Jumia. And they said I was going to receive it in a certain period. And it didn't come till yesterday, like two weeks, which is shocking and then the person called i was on the phone and i called like two three minutes immediately after and the person said it was dispatched from jumia that he has gone i said ah okay he just called me he has gone he has other things to do that do you know how many things i can do in three minutes i just go up so that i hung up and then i got an email yesterday night that the, my my order has been cancelled from jumia just like that like, can you imagine? Like, I have people that have been waiting for their Bibles, like, a whole 10 people that have been waiting for their Bibles for two weeks, and I look, I look like, am I being a scam or something? So annoying. So I want to go and check, and they're telling me that they're not going to refund the money until seven, five to seven working days. Like, that's so ridiculous to me. I'm not ordering from Jimmy again. It didn't make any sense. Like, if it was a repeated attempt to reach me, and I wasn't reachable, I would understand. Not that you called me, and I called you back two, three minutes later, and then you're telling me you've already gone like he could have just turned back there's no way he has gone far in three minutes and it's not as if he called me and said i'm coming to deliver something like usually when i get orders from dhl they call and say they are coming am i available to receive and i say yes and they come it's not like i got that call and then when he now got there he couldn't reach me or i didn't pick his call for like 30 minutes three minutes guys like i literally had to go check that's why i know that it was three minutes and then anyways i want to go and check Ebano, the one in phase one that's the big one whether they will have the bibles there so that i can just get it and send them out today so yeah my clients were so amazing by the way i'm just gonna go now in the crowd in the club at the bar yeah what's up i saw you cross the room Seems like I might have to try Jumia again. So annoying. Very, very upsetting. Anyways, I back from the gym. So I'm gonna head home now. Or I just go home rather. <laughs> Today is the final day of we're doing a three days program in church. Awakening is a program we do during our 21 days in September every year. And words, words can't describe it. <laughs> words really can't describe it like yesterday i went expectant and what i prayed for like god really said ask i shall receive like what i what i prayed for i received 
and I've never had such an encounter before and I just felt such an overwhelming love that God has for me. Like, God is love. God loves us. Like, I'm so excited for D3. Today is the final day. I'm so excited. So, I don't want to be late. I want to get to church for four. It starts at 5.30. So, I just want to go shower. I have a video I'm supposed to edit and then eat and then head to church. So, that's the agenda for today. Hi guys, good morning. It's currently past 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning and you will not believe that I actually went to church like this. <laughs> I just put this scarf over my head and wore glasses. I know I looked hella funny, but I have so much to do today. And I had my hair curled yesterday and the ride is not going to be around because I went to church for 7 a.m. and the ride wasn't going to be around to style my hair. And I didn't want to mess it up because I have loads of content to film today. And we're celebrating the ride and Rona's birthday today. Guys, my voice is almost there, almost back to 100%. But the reason why I'm even filming so many videos today is because I had the whole of this week to film them. But because of my voice, I couldn't. So now I'm like putting everything in today. So I'm supposed to do the breast makeup for 2 p.m. So I decided to go for first service. Well, I've been going for first service. I actually prefer it. So I want to film the Huda Beauty new foundation review video, then my everything beauty video, my gospel playlist video for the week, and a clothing brand video. Um, then I'm supposed to film two videos with David by 12. So I came to film in my studio. So I want to quickly do all this before we resume because we resume like 12 at my studio. So I want to be done with all the makeup bits and everything. And then David and I can go film elsewhere before clients start coming in. All right, so let's start to work. gets you right like this is a soul in you guys like <laughs> baby girl baby girl two weeks later <laughs> 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 Make way for the birthday girl. Hey, make way for the birthday girl. Make way for the birthday girl. Make way for assistant birthday girls. If he wants to slap us, like how dare we be late? My baby! My angel! My boo boo! I like your earrings. Hi. Uh uh. Please don't be angry with me, baby. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi guys, good afternoon. So it's, it's like almost 3.30 p.m. I, I see my voice, I've lost my voice again. My voice was getting better and then I went to karaoke. <laughs> and karaoke has taken my voice down a, a notch again. But I had such an amazing time last night. I had such an amazing, amazing time last night, like for real. The owner of the place we went to for karaoke night last night, she gave me this sonic room. Sonic room, so let me unbox this for you guys to see. Like, I was very surprised when she gave it to me. Thank you so much, UT. Like, this was so shocking. Like, ah, wow. So, she gifted me this really cute fan. Like, this fan is so cute. Like, it's so, so cute. And she gifted me this Jack Daniels. My sister has already claimed it because she knows I'm not going to drink it. Thank you, UT. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's even, I thought you were sleeping. If you can't in the back, she's saying hi. So she gifted me this shot glass also. And this, oh, this is a tote bag, so cute. So she gifted me this tote bag. And she gifted me this glow oil from Arami. Like, this is such a good brand. And I've been wanting to try their oils. So like, how amazing is that, that I wanted to try their glow oil, and here it is. And she gifted me, I don't know what this is. Chocolates. They are chocolates, oh, wow. It's chocolates. <laughs> Oh my god, like how shocking is this? I've not experienced this in my life. Ah, and this keychain. And let me shock you guys. The most shocking part of this gift box. A bundle of cash. <laughs> hey god. I'm like there's levels to this thing. Like there's levels to this thing. Thank you guys so much. Oh, there's even a, okay, it's a charger for the fan. Like this gift box was really shocking to me. Thank you so much. You can carry a Jack Daniels. Come on. <laughs> I don't really, I'm not, I don't drink. Let's just leave it that. The only drink I managed to take is Irish cream Baileys and I can't remember the last time I took it. I'm trying, I'm trying not to, like, I don't drink anymore. <coughs> My voice. So the, the amount of fun that we had at that sunny cream last night, I was like, ah, ah, we should have just come here straight. We should have just come here eating, don't carry it because, you know, I was tired. Or whatever, everybody was saying, I'll just stay here one hour and we'll go. 12 o'clock, we're still there. I was begging them, please, let's Let's go. Let's go. Ada, let's go. Nobody wanted to leave. 1 a.m. Let's go. Like, I was tired. Like, I literally was on my chair, like this, dozing off, waiting for this supposed to tire out and let's go home. Run that. Like, everybody was having such an amazing time. I didn't want to go home. We had such an amazing time. And the food, we ate food, but not like food, food. Everything we ate. The drinks, the mocktails were amazing. I had the strawberry daiquiri, it was so good. I had such an amazing time there. I was not even thinking that I think I might do my birthday here because I had a lot of fun yesterday. And I told them it was Dobra and my friend Rana's birthday. And they asked me for pictures and videos and did like a slide, singing happy birthday, brought the cake. Like yesterday was perfect. Like it was so perfect. Like, cause Rana's birthday was on the 23rd. Dobra's birthday was on the 28th. So Rana was not expecting that we're gonna celebrate her too so it was quite shocking to her. it was so cute how surprised she was or like Dobra they always surprised Dobra like anyways I just came to do the outro for this vlog yeah like the nylon you're seeing in the background guys the women's devotional bibles I finally was able to get them I was finally able to buy them. Well, they are now even more expensive than they were before. Before I could buy them for like 18,000, but they are no more 18,000. They are getting more expensive. I even saw some sellers that were selling theirs for 25K. Like, I got a dozen because I have so many people that have been waiting to get theirs. I told you guys my Jumia order was canceled. So a friend of mine recommended Gigi and said I didn't even have to pay that they would bring it. And when I confirm it, I'll pay on the spot. And I did that and I got it that day that very day so I'll be getting it from Gigi henceforth like I was so angry that I deleted my Jumia app from my phone anyways I want to announce today's winners but before I even announce today's winners I wanted to say something the point I wanted to make is I felt led to be gifting this bible like I gifted this bible to like everybody around me and I, I just felt led to be giving them away on my channel I just felt led to do so but I feel like now it's it's been misinterpreted as something else i don't know holy spirit i feel like it's okay for example i get a lot a lot of comments every day talking about how this bible how maybe somebody will say oh 
they have Bible, but they want just my own specifically to help them draw closer to God, or they have Bible on their phone and they don't want that Bible on their phone. They want the specific Bible. The point I'm trying to make is, the Bible is God's word. Like God's word is the Bible. And before I got this Bible, I was gifted this Bible years ago, like maybe eight years ago. And in eight years is now that I'm finally starting to read this Bible. Like, do you see how it's still very new and clean? It's been in my drawer for years. So, point being, in fact, for the most part, the few times that I study the Bible, which is mostly when I'm in church, when I'm just trying to follow along with any scripture that the pastor talks about, this is the Bible I've been using this bible app the U version bible app i've been using this bible i don't want you to i i just i don't want any misconception of cannot speak close to god you cannot study god's word except you get this bible i don't know if i'm making any sense any bible you have even if it's your phone i'm just gifting these bibles it's not there's no i don't want to use the wrong words i'm trying to say right but i don't know if i'm coming across like even even if somebody in your house has a bible you can use the person's bible I'm just gifting this out like I feel like every single comment I get on any video I post is now about this Bible and how there's a magic in this specific part that's gonna change your life even if all you have everybody has a smartphone almost everybody has a smartphone in 2024 download the Bible I was saying that I used to use this Bible app and I, I used to get distracted and that was you only speak from your wealth of knowledge and that was me like I've grown so much like I, I always say that I grow every day like my walk with God is a, it's a walk it's a renewing of my spirit of my understanding and it's a daily it's a daily thing and now I understand so much better I was saying then that this Bible when I use it it's distracting because it's my phone I feel distracted sometimes I see notifications or phone calls and I get distracted and I want to and I, I, I stop reading the Bible and I start to do other things on my phone but if this Bible is the only thing that you have this is your way to spend time with god to get into god's word to spend time with him and this is the only bible you have you don't have money to get a physical bible there's this someone i watched i've watched it over and over again i'm gonna leave a picture here i share the link in my in my description box it's it's a sermon from priscilla shearer and it's called how to spend time studying god's word how to spend time with god and she mentioned the five p's of bible study and the very first one is positioning you need to position yourself to hear from god like god says you need to guard your heart with all due diligence because out of it flows the issues of life if in your mind think you cannot study god's word properly with your phone that's how it's going to be for you that's how it's going to be for you if you've told yourself that the only way you can get close to god is if god touches life uh, to deliver to, to give away this bible to you that's the only way that's how it's going to be for you i don't know if i'm explaining that right to you guys so positioning is like habakkuk said that uh, he he went to the watchtower to wait to hear from god like you need to position yourself if you don't expect to hear from god when you study god's word through your phone you won't hear from god in positioning if your phone is the only thing that you have to study god's word with turn off notifications put your phone to not disturb or no or flight modes just for a few minutes of your day like you know that this particular time is the time that you want to have as your quiet time you remove all distractions you remove all distractions no phone calls not the one that you now pick you and say i'm studying the word of god let me call you back like just remove all distractions like you it's your expectation the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short it's your expectation if you are expecting to hear from god you will hear from god <laughs> there's this there's this sound that says i would have despaired unless i believed that i would see the goodness of god in the land of the living it means that he he would have despaired but he believed so it's your belief according to his belief so shall it be like he he believed that even whatever even though things are going on around he will he will see the goodness of god in the land of the living so it's your belief your belief like this heart you need to guard it so much because whatever you believe in your heart whatever you believe in your heart that will be your reality so I just wanted to correct that is a misinterpretation that I would say. I don't want you to think 
that so me gifting this bible i'm just gifting it it's not because this bible is better than every other bible god's word is god's words even if even if it's that small you know that very small bible we used to use when we were kids even if that's the only bible you have like just have a time in the morning in the night to dedicate even if it's 15 minutes even if it's 10 minutes because our lives can get very busy here yeah? even if it's 10 20 minutes you dedicate that time you know that this is the time that you're going to spend with god and you need to have a book you need to have a book for bible study you need to have a book for sermons like this is my sermon book you need to have a book for sermons like before i did not i just used to go to church and i would not write I would no i would just you know how when you catch it in church you leave church feeling so energized feeling like oh i've caught the word of god you are going to go into the week you know with conviction in your spirit because you listen and you got god's word but you don't go back to study that word or you don't even write anything at all devil will come and pluck it he will come and pluck that word from your heart because you do not meditate on that word you do not write it down if you don't write it down how are you going to be able to go back to read it and meditate it and soak it in tickets so go to church you go to church with a pen a book you write you write you write you write so that when you when when your spirit is down when your spirit is low you go back you remind yourself of god's word you meditate on it day and night day and night please my loves i've talked too much i told myself i wasn't gonna make today's outro long because the last outro was crazy my last outro was like 20 something minutes I, I was shocked so let me just go straight to announcing today's winner so today's winner um the first person is sonia unusual she says hi life hi your growth is amazing to see i was watching your old videos i was in awe of how far you've come your growth is truly inspiring i would really love to get the bible my bible is literally held together by cellar tape it would be a blessing if i could win this and thank you for giving out bibles it's things like this i wish to be able to do one day god bless you for your kindness so congratulations and he who waters shall be watered i love that you said this is something you'd love to do one day i pray and i know and i believe that you would be able to do it too so congratulations and the second person is ba Kut joy b-a-k-u-t joy then 5172 Sure. Dear life, uh, I would really love to, if I could get this Bible. I lost my sister last year and I lost my relationship with God. To be honest, I find it really hard to pray. I was so angry at God and I'm genuinely trying to reconnect with God. I know this women's devotional will help mend and deepen my relationship with God. Thank you. I'm so sorry for your loss. I pray that God gives you the strength because it's so easy to believe God's word when there are no trials, there are no tribulations, but it's, it's, it's when there are challenges that your faith is really tested that your faith is really tested so i cannot even begin to imagine what that kind of experience was like because i'm very close with my sisters i can't even believe i can't even imagine sorry what that would feel like but i'm just glad that you are back on your path of reconnecting i just want you to know that god loves you like God loves you and he's he's there. He's always with you. He's with you in the valleys, with you on the mountain. And I pray that his strength will envelop you and help you through this season in Jesus' name. Amen. So yeah, that is basically it for today's vlog. Uh, today's Monday. You guys already know. So it's my day off. Since we're out late, I woke up really late today. Cleaned. I didn't want to do anything today. All I did is clean. Clean up, remove my bed sheet. I'm waiting for my laundry laundry guy to come and bring my second bed sheet and second duvet cover and pick up the dirty one so I can lay in my bed. That's why my bed is in this area right now. But yeah. And now I just want to eat and just chill. See, I have something waiting for me on TV to watch. I've been wanting to watch this interview and I finally have the time to watch it today. So I'm going to watch it today. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I love you so, so much. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.